What's up guys, this is Danny from Rethink Peer-to-Peer -peer Lending. Welcome back to another platform review on my channel. In today's video, we will take a closer look at the current state of Heavy Finance, a platform that wants to combine sustainable investments and competitive returns. During my recent on-site visit in Vilnius, I sat down with two of their three founding members to discuss a number of topics, including the quality of their loan portfolio, the performance level for different collaterals and obstacles for their green loan product. If you want to find out if heavy finance is worth your time and money, then this video is for you. So please do me a favor and continue to watch until the end to get a full picture of the platform. To start off, let's dive into the strategy and the performance of my personal portfolio on heavy finance. At the time of recording this video, my outstanding portfolio on the platform is 4,273 euro spread across 44 loans. Of these, 95% come from heavy finance domestic market in Lithuania, which have historically proven to deliver the best performance. This strategy seems to pay off until now as only three of my 44 loans are more than 90 days due, which indicates a better performance compared to the entire portfolio of the platform. Considering the decent portfolio quality, it might come off as a surprise that my total return has only been at 8.13% so far. This is mainly due to my exposure in green loans, which makes up for a quarter of my entire portfolio. Since there haven't been any carbon credits issued yet, which we will cover in a second, my returns are still pending and therefore somewhat limiting the full earning potential on the platform. Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Heavy Finance manages 25.4 million euro in investor assets with roughly 22% of these loans being defaulted. Although understanding that repayment schedules are often tied to harvest cycles in the agricultural sector, which can serve as an explanation for more volatility, providing this excuse across all borrowers might be a bit too short-sighted as well. A particular challenge seems apparent in the Polish lending market where 42% are being laid with more than 90 days, even including already repaid loans. According to my conversation with Heavy Finance, a reason for repayment delays have been fluctuations of grain prices after the war in Ukraine started, which made it hard for farmers to sell their own grain at their preferred prices. This leads to farmers being more willing to pay late fees rather than selling their product for a cheaper and below value rate. To speed up recoveries in Poland, the platform has recently established new requirements which has their borrowers to provide a statement on voluntary submission to enforcement. This obligation, which is supposed to simplify and accelerate the debt recovery process, is based on the Article 777 of the Polish Civil Procedure Code, which helps creditors to avoid court fees while also shortening lengthy court procedures from one and a half years to now having a bailiff knocking on the door after two weeks already. Although the effects of this notary act are yet to be seen, the platform's actions are clearly indicating a certain degree of awareness to find solutions and to resolve the situation in Poland. Heavy Finance revealed some interesting insights when it comes to collateralization. Although 70 to 80% of the farmers on heavy finance are grain growers, the platform doesn't collateralize those assets due to monitoring issues and potentially some lengthy court processes to get the money back. Instead, 80% of the loans are either secured by land or heavy machinery, which have proven to be easier to liquidate. The key difference between both is the amortization, as land usually increases in value over time, while the value of machinery usually decreases. For this reason, heavy finance funds up to 90% of land value and only up to 60% of machinery value. 
careful considerations need to be made prior liquidation though, as taking away land or machinery is also limiting a farmer's ability to generate earnings in the future, potentially limiting also repayments on the platform. A somewhat surprising information has been the statement that uncollateralized loans are performing better than collateralized ones. The explanation by the platform has been the lower installments which have to be paid for working capital loans which are therefore easier to repay. Heavy Finance is one of Europe's biggest pioneers when it comes to promoting green loans. This product is no different to a standard agricultural loan, but with a few key differences for both the borrower and the investor. On the farmer side, green loans are offered with a 0% interest rate if the borrower commits to invest the money in renewable energies, reforestation or regenerative land management practices. Storing carbon in the soil will then generate carbon credits, which ultimately generate the return for investors. Initially, the first carbon credits were expected to roll out by Q1 2024, but delays in the verification process by VERA, which verifies 70% of all carbon credits worldwide, have pushed back the timeline for at least 6 months. As from our recent conversation, Heavy Finance is now expecting to issue the first carbon credits by Q1 2025. Despite these delays, the long-term prospects look promising with projected returns exceeding 20%. Heavy Finance claims to have already received various offers from brokers to sell carbon credits for a price of 20 euro per unit for everything being generated in the next 10 years. As the company projects an increasing demand from corporates in the future, a more realistic range is seen between 35 to 45 euro per carbon credit, which would then translate into an annualized return of above 20%. This assumption is underlined by studies that estimate the market for carbon credits could balloon from $2 billion in 2020 to $50 billion by 2030. While some investors are skeptical, the rigorous scientific process involved in green loans give this investment category a robust foundation. With more than 10,000 soil samples analyzed in Lithuania and Poland alone, Heavy Finance is building one of the largest soil quality databases, further reinforcing the credibility of the green loan product. Understanding the frustration of investors, Heavy Finance has shown some empathy when it comes to their current system with two different payment processing providers. As Heavy Finance is not satisfied with the situation either, which in their opinion is partly due to technical reasons and partly due to regulation, the platform commented on presenting a new solution provider already this year, which will then streamline transactions across all markets. This highly demanded change will surely improve the user experience and reduce the friction investors have faced with the current system. Another significant change is expected by the platform's ambition to scale up on its loan supply while trying to balance investor demand. After announcing the collaboration with the European Investment Fund, which committed to invest 20 million next year, the platform has also a larger institutional investor at hand to fuel the increasing supply of loans. Since the market size is considered as too big to squeeze out retail investors from the loan supply, Heavy Finance reassured any potential fears that might go in this direction. The idea is to have initial investments in each loan of 40 to 50 percent, while the exact cap will be determined upon discussions with institutional investors. To provide more context and perspective, Heavy Finance pointed out that the current retail investor base of around 12,000 people can fund between 1 to 2.5 million per month, whereas the inquiries would allow even doubling the volume on the higher end. As the retail investor base remains a crucial pillar for the platform when it comes to expanding into new markets or launching new products, a scenario of lending club where the business has been closed off entirely for retail investors has been ruled out by the platform. 
Let's review the financial situation of the company before closing with a final conclusion. Last year, Heavy Finance managed to generate a profit of 375,000 euro after posting a loss of 1.1 million in 2022. This seems a somewhat surprising result considering the platform is a venture capital-backed company which typically prioritizes growth over short-term profitability. Heavy Finance has raised a total of 4.2 million euro in equity, including a 3 million euro seed round in March last year. This financial backing, combined with the platform's shift towards profitability, suggests that Heavy Finance is on a solid foundation as it continues to grow. As it became apparent in this Heavy Finance review, the platform continues to optimize its business operations, although the effects might not always be visible at this stage. The answer if Heavy Finance is worth your time and money is largely depending on your personal risk appetite and investment strategy. If you're looking for a platform that offers the potential of high returns with a focus on sustainability, Heavy Finance could be a solid addition to your portfolio. However, be prepared for the inherent risks that are associated with agricultural investments. A more conservative approach can be pursued by selecting only agricultural loans from Lithuania, whereas investors with a higher risk appetite can also look into the platform's green loan product. Please leave a comment below the video to share your personal view on investing in the agricultural sector and please consider subscribing for more platform reviews and portfolio updates in the future.